Welcome back. Welcome back to the Finca. <laughs> For another exciting instalment. <laughs> um, we're Andy and Sharon, those of you that don't know, um, we are currently restoring our 150 year old Finca in southern Spain. Um, we are currently working on the hayloft to convert it into a little one bedroom apartment for us to live in whilst we do the rest of the house, which is, is a house. The major place, project. The place is completely derelict, so there no plumbing, no electricity, yep. no, no nothing in it. No, it's not even got any glass in the windows, <laughs> um, so we've got a bit of a job on. Um, so at the moment, yeah, as Sharon said, we're, we're converting. This is going to be our living area um, in our apartment. Um, I'm currently working on our handmade bespoke kitchen unit, if you can see them. Um, I'm hoping to get this finished in this video. Um, I've got to oil the tops, make some trim for the tiles, make some doors for it, uh, a few other bits of things. And um, what are you on? I've got whitewashing to finish, I've got bits to touch up here and there, you can probably see. Um, and the ceiling to we've done, oil. We've done bits of it. We've done bits of it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully by the end of this video, the whitewashing, the ceiling, and our lovely bespoke unit here will be finished. And we'll be ready for the floor. So we better crack on. Let's do it. So the first order of the day is, if you remember, if you saw the last video, I sanded all this top down because we're going to wax it um, with a nice wood wax thing. Um, so, um, I'm going to get a damp cloth, clean it all up. Now, we did hoover it all, but it's still really dusty. Get a damp cloth, wipe it all down, and then I've got a big sheet here, which I'm going to cover it over with, um, and then hopefully um, leave it, well, until it's dry, probably overnight, and then get the, get the wax on first thing in the morning. So let's get on with it. Even though I've vacuumed it, it's still got lots of sawdust on it, so I'm just going to take a damp cloth and just wipe it all off. That's the plan anyway. And of course we need to let it dry thoroughly. That's it. It's working. You look at it. Tons of it. Even, even after hoovering, there's still lots on it. Right, so I'll get it wiped down. There we go, it's all clean, covered up, um, no dust is getting on that now. Um, I'm going to leave it now overnight until the morning to dry off I think. Um, put a bit of weight on it to stop the thing sliding off. Um, yeah, fantastic. All we can do now is wait for this. Just back from the vet, um, there was still some infection in the ear this morning so she's had to open it up again and get all that out and uh, she was a very brave soldier um, so she's had some chicken when we got back um, Vet's given her an antibiotic injection which will last for two days and then I have to go back on Wednesday for another one and then we'll have to go back Friday for a third one and hopefully then that should sort the infection oh. out um, doesn't help that say she keeps scratching and shaking her head and uh, but hopefully this time next week, Tabby will be all healed. Eh? A good girl. She was such a brave girl. Yes. Poor baby. So, glad Tabby's doing okay. She will be okay. Um, bless her. Um, right, so as always, we've had a change of plan. <laughs> That's what we do, isn't it? Change our minds. Um, I'm not going to wax this top because I want to try and get it a really like, smooth you know, perfect, lovely finish. Um, Sharon needs to brush off the point in that um, she did the other day above the sleeper there. And we need to get these walls cleaned off and need to move, there's a load, a load of stuff in here. It's just accumulated once again from, from the work, tools and things and boxes of screws and nails and what have you. So we want to try and get this room absolutely blitz cleared out, get rid of all the dust so when I do this, um, it's gonna, it's not going to get any dust at all landing on it. Landing on it. Plus, it's got to have um, two coats, um, and with eight to ten hours between coats. But you've got to put the second coat on um, after the eight to ten hours is up um, for the best finish. So it looks as though we'll get it all cleared up. I can't do anything tomorrow because I'm working. <sighs> Rolls eyes, um, and then. 
Um, probably it'll be Wednesday morning then I think. I'll um, put a coat on this first thing in the morning and then put the second coat on um, later on that day. Uh, in the meantime I may get to linseed oil in the rest of it. Um, so, but first job is to get this place blitzed and cleaned out. So I've got my wire brush um, and I'm just going to clean this off. It, it stays powdery for a, a good couple of days so um, it's easy to just clean it off but obviously get it off the stones sooner rather than later and get the, all the dust out of the way before Andy oils his nice new <coughs> worktop. So I'll crack on with that and show you what it looks like when it's finished. I was uh, contemplating making the doors for the, the unit today but although it looks bright in the window we don't have a lot of sunshine and I don't really want to um, start the generator to make the doors and to run the tools to make the doors um, but uh, it's not a problem, I've got plenty of other things to do all this lot needs to be to be gone most of it is now finished with because we've, we've built most of what we need to build um, so we can line wash this wall obviously we can't do it with all this lot here so that's one of my tasks for today get rid of this and get tidied up a little bit as well um, it just accumulates, it's crazy Right, well, I forgot my dust mask and uh, was already starting to cough. So I now have my dust mask, don't worry about me, and I'll cr carry on. Um, I've actually just found here, um, I knew they, they weren't lost. Um, remember we burnt, we had all that wood um, that we had in the, the room downstairs that we burnt earlier on in the winter um, and a lot of it was old door frames that were beyond repair and out of the fire came the original hinges and um, we've got the other halves to them somewhere probably still on the doors and um, we've also got um, some other hinges that I got remember when I fixed the door on the other building on the, our neighbour's building there um, well I put new hinges on that and we've got all those original hinges as well um, which is absolutely fantastic we've got old bolts and stuff um, just generally sitting in a, a bath of diesel at the moment um, but when we come to do further doors and things we're going to reuse these original things which is absolutely fantastic just thought I'd uh, share that with you so that's done there's dust everywhere so I'm just going to try and hoover it now um, damage limitation <sighs> rather than sending it everywhere else from the atmosphere. Well, this is a two man job because <laughs> I've, got, I've got to hold the, the vacuum. Ah. Okay, you switch ready? me on. You ready? Yay. Right, the wall's clear. Um, ready for brushing off and line washing this one as well um, the ladders are there they'll be needed the spray is there to dampen it down they'll be needed and um, I've got a big pile of tools down here normally the, I shut the shutters by the way because it was really bright and you couldn't see a thing um, normally I'll just take the tools and put them in the kitchen downstairs but the, the last lot of tools was in the kitchen downstairs so I've had to move those into the workshop but to get them in the workshop I've had to tidy the workshop a bit so I've cleaned up the workshop a bit, put everything away in there take a load of the tools from downstairs put them away in the workshop and now I can take this lot probably downstairs I've, I've got to try and put them away in the workshop faster because a lot of them we're not going to need anymore all the boards that were against that wall I put them against this wall the one we've already finished we just got to be careful that we don't mark it obviously because um, it's brand new and uh, that would be a bit shameful. Um, so two of them got left, um, assorted screws, nails, sander, clamps, glue, couple of drills, couple of nail guns, airline hoses, wire strippers, stuff like that. We shouldn't need any, I'm going to need a bit obviously to fix the, the sink in place and fix the doors on. But I'm probably just going to get rid of all this lot and then just bring them up as I need them because they're only be small things. But yeah, um, this is all safely stacked here, ready to go on the floor um, when we've done the rest of it and now I can crack on with the walls. So, it's all cleared out now. The last bit 
to do is to hoover everything, uh, which is not easy on this floor because it's totally uneven, so you can't use the attachment that just sweeps it, you have to use this little thing. So it's a rather long job, but I'll crack on with it. Right, finally, it's all spotlessly clean. Um, we're ready, we've got the wall you saw earlier to do, and above this, above the point and above the beam there to line wash and the ceiling to oil. Um, so, um, as I said earlier, I'm working tomorrow, but Sharon's going to crack on and see how much of that um, she can get through. So, happy days, we're really making progress. Donkey's just been singing for his supper, so it's that time. I'm going to give them some carrots and some oats, and Goaty goes absolutely mad for his oats, so hopefully you'll see that. Um, having said that, they say never film with animals and children because they never do what you want them to do at the time. But we'll see. I'll go and get some oats. Here he comes. What do you want? What do you want? Come on. No, 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 that's not yours. Come on, this one's yours. Wait, 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 wait. Look. There you go, good boy. <laughs> All right, down. Hey, matey. gone off to work um, I've walked the dogs, fed the dogs, fed the cats, I've mucked out Don Quixote and Goaty, I've collected firewood for this evening, I've done some sticks for kindling, I've just had some lunch and now I'm going to crack on with this ceiling, see how much I can get done before he comes back. It's hard work this thing can I? So the struggle is real, not only is it killing my neck but because the brush is upside down, the oil is dripping down the brush and down my arm, which is like nails down a blackboard to me. So I've had to come up with a solution. I've put some paper towel around the handle, which is fastly absorbing it. I'll have to keep changing that thing. But um, yeah, I don't think I'll be doing much today because my neck is killing me already. Well, I've actually done more than I expected to today. Um, my neck was killing me and I thought I'm not going to be doing much of this, but I've persevered and I've actually done now up, all the, the long boards are finished. Um, there's just the bit from here where I, I did previously the bit above the kitchen because I knew once the units were in I wouldn't be able to um, get up there and do it. Uh, but I left it halfway if you remember. So all I've got to do tomorrow is just that bit there, that section there, and then I can get on with my line washing. So I'm actually quite pleased. Um, it's been a busy day, never stopped. Um, it's time, that time again, time to walk the dogs, time to feed Don Quixote and Goatee, time to feed the cats and find feed the dogs, of course. Um, so I'm going to leave it there. So say, I hope Andy will be pleased when he comes home. Um, yeah, good day. Right, I'm back um, from a day off and it's super early in the morning. It's not even light yet. The sun comes up over that hill behind me and it looks like we're quite misty this morning as well um, as it's slowly getting lighter. I'm up this daft, daft o'clock because we've got 20,000 litres of water coming to fill our new water deposit which is up there. So he said he'd be here between 8 and 8.30. It's now six minutes past eight they're always late um, but I've got to be up <laughs> so we're just waiting for him and here he is um, bang on time actually ten minutes early um, fabulous let's go and get us some water Oh, 
right, it's off. Um, get it filled up. Apparently the wagon holds 21,000 litres and how is it on the 20? <laughs> so we might have to water the garden a bit. No leaks yet. Well, the tank's full, um, best laid plans. I had a leak on this one, uh, typically. So I've had to dig a hole um, to enable me to tighten it up. I've managed to tighten it up as much as I dare. And it's now stopped leaking, This is fantastic. There's a little drip on this. Um, it's always been there, even when it was down there for the tap, when the tap's open. So I just need to put a, undo this, break this joint here, and um, just put a bit of, seal around there and then but that's that's easy enough this was the one i was concerned about um but yeah it's it's stopped it's good um so we're full happy days see how it goes um after a misty start it is clearing you can see the blue i can just see the sun poking through which is good for our solar um that tap that's open that feeds the house is very very slowly um draining into our tank uh, our purification tank um, it should do it all right but we're gonna see how it goes if not I say I've got another pump there I can put it on if necessary but hopefully it'll just gravity feed into it and we're away but yeah 20,000 litres nice clean water well we're back to the vets this morning with Tabby for her second antibiotic injection and then again on Friday and hopefully then she'll be much much better she's not happy about it she hates this box and she probably hates me at the moment but um, I know darling gonna make you better I know so uh, yeah off we go we're losing so much time at the moment but we can't do anything about it so I'll let you know when I get back I'm back upstairs in a familiar place <laughs> but you're sick of the sight of this now aren't you um, best laid plans, um, Sharon's at the vets with Tabby uh, for an unexpected after the other day um, for more treatment, more antibiotics and another check. Um, I was hoping to get this worktop waxed today um, but I didn't expect to be fixing leaks on my shoddy workmanship and the taps on the tank. Um, it's all sorted out now. Um, I'm currently draining it into our um, purification tank, which we, strictly speaking, shouldn't need, but it's always better to purify it anyway. And, um, yeah, it's coming in about 600 litres an hour, just on gravity from the tank, which is, which is perfect, yeah, absolutely. No electricity required, just simply open the tap and let it flow. Fantastic stuff. Um, so, I think I'm going to have to do this, um, try again tomorrow. As I say, I need to apply the second coat um, between 8 and 10 hours after the first coat. Uh, I'm not doing it at midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, so I'll try again in, in tomorrow morning. But um, I'm going to have to think about these doors and what I'm going to do with them, because um, they obviously need to be done at some point as well. So, no time like the present. Alright, what I've decided to do, um, I'm going to make the doors out of TNG, same as the piling on the wall. Um, I'm going to put a piece here in um, a trim like that, same one over here like that um, because my doors are going to be actually slightly thinner and to make them to this thickness to sit against that um, it gets quite complicated, I should have thought of this earlier but a nice little bit of trim there, that way um, and then I'll cut some stops which are going to go inside that the doors are going to, and you see that doors are going to close against um, so I'm just going to nail and glue these in place you remember I took all my tools down the other day um, not realising that I'd still need them but I've just had to bring them back up, look at I left my airline poking through the hole so I'll get these fixed in place well I'm back from the vets cracking on with the ceiling. Um, it's, the infection's a lot better but it is still a little bit swollen. Um, she cleaned it again. She's very rough with her and Tabby doesn't mind at all. She lets her do it but she wouldn't let me do it the other day. 
Um, but yeah, she's pleased with her progress. So we're back same time on Friday for the third injection. And then Monday to have her stitches out, but I'm going to ask her on Friday if she can take the stitches out Friday to save me another trip. But she may or may not be able to, I don't know. We'll see how it's healing. Um, so yeah, I'm cracking on with the ceiling now. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll get it all finished today. As I say, I've lost half a day really at the vet, so uh, we'll see. I'll just do as much as I can do. Right on, all the trims are in, the door stops are in. I'm ready for the doors. I think what I'm going to do next, I'm going to, in the morning, um, put a coat of wax on this, then make the doors, get them sorted out, and then after that should be time to put another coat of wax, and the second coat of wax on this. So, um, but yeah, it's not far off now. Right, so we're going to carry on, and we're going to end the video here, because it's not much. Not very interesting for you to see me oiling the ceiling. <laughs> yes, and um, we didn't get, of course, we didn't get a, a complete shot we wanted to this, this no. video. Um, but many unforeseen circumstances, additional trips to the vet with the cat, leaking things on the our new water deposit. But I've just checked it. Um, I pulled two thousand liters out of it now into our into our um, our deposit. What's it called? A purification. Tank yeah, tank. positive bit and um, there's not a drop coming out of it now so that's absolutely fantastic we've got a result on that um, so uh, new goal now Sun finish this ceiling Sunday's video finish done. the ceiling done. and done. the whitewashing done yeah as I said a minute yeah. ago I'm, I'm going to oil this hopefully I'll get this oiled in the morning but, uh, hopefully there's no unforeseen circumstances again no impromptu no. things to do and um then make the doors, fit the doors, and then give it a second coat later on. But you'll have to wait for Sunday's video for that, I'm afraid. Um, so, thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks to all the, and welcome to all the new subscribers. Yes. Thanks to all the existing subscribers. Yeah. Thank you so much, of course, to all the people that have supported the channel. Um, we'll see you on... Sunday. Sunday. <laughs>